going on everybody Z here welcome back to some more railroads online we are back we're doing the things doing stuff and look at betsy just steaming away just ready to rock and roll but we got a few things we got to do for first because last episode we built this little roundabout here and it works it does it does what it needs to do it does like it's gonna be good we're gonna get logs we're gonna start making some money however there is a couple things that we need to address uh one firewood firewood station i put is all the way over there so i think we need to get a firewood station over here somewhere and I'd also like to get a water tower over here as well. So I want to bring this up because what I want to do is ideally, let's see here. Do we have any like, there's nothing to build like signage wise. I would love to throw like a sign down of like where to stop. So like bring this guy up here and you know, it's like have a sign right here. If I, if I, if I stop right here, then my train carts will be like, you know, all within this area. So I'd like to do that, but yeah, I don't really know. And also we're gonna need more of these carts as well. And I think if we purchase them, I think they go in over there and then we're gonna need a yard for all these eventually. And then we need a turntable as well. We need so, we need so many different things. So uh, I think what we're gonna do for now is let's go ahead and let's hop into here. Uh, we have no fuel in this bad boy. So let's get some fuel in here. And that's up to 50, fantastic. Let's go ahead and let the fire temperature, oh, water, oh, we're already good. Okay, cool. So let's pull this up just a hair. And then I'm gonna throw a water tower in here. So that way we can fill up water. We're gonna throw a firewood depot right here as well. And then I actually have a plan for a yard. I'm thinking maybe we'll throw a switch in right here pop off this way and then have our switching yard all in here or our, not our switching yard but just a yard in there to hold all of our like train cars and things like that and then we also need a turntable as well okay so like right there is probably about perfect yeah that looks about perfect okay so let's go ahead and let's get a water tower in here okay did it place oh it placed <laughs> all right and then if I drag this down, oh, we actually need to open that up. Open, open. There we go. Drag this down. Oh, that's not even close. This way? No, this way. Come on. Eh. What's the deal here? Oh, it, it, okay, it functions from looking at it this way. Okay. Is it filling up now? I think it's filling up. Is it filling up? Let's see. Uh, water level 500. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's good. Let's go ahead. Let's get a firewood line in here as well. Facilities, firewood depot. Now we don't need a sander yet. Uh, let's just toss that right there for now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, okay. It didn't really line up perfectly, but it's good enough. It's good enough. All right. So our firewood is full. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to try to take firewood from there instead of there. Cause you know how many trips that was? That was a lot of trips. So there's that. All right. So now, um, how many carts do you think we could actually pull with this thing? Or how many carts do you think we could fit in front of this building? We probably fit like what? There's one. Maybe like one for each door. So like one, two, three, four, five, maybe five more carts worth. That would be pretty awesome, but we're gonna have to go pick those up. Should we go ahead and get those? We also need to finish working on the line over at the lumber mill because it is awful and needs to be fixed up as well. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's take this guy and let's go get the lumber and then we'll fix the line up over there and then we'll come back We'll drop these off and then we'll grab more carts and have a good time, hopefully. Um, yes. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Ah, oh, my firewood is low again. You know, what? I'm just going to grab a stack from here because I don't want to grab it from the car if I don't have to. Uh, what is that on the track? Oh, it's just a plant. Okay. I was like, oh no, we're going to derail. Now we should be good. All right, so I got to keep in mind that I do have to stop before the switch, switch the switch, stop after the switch, switch it back. Um, this is kind of why I wish there were signs. Like, I wish we could have some, you know, like, stop signs or, like, you know, some kind of signage 
to, to indicate some of this stuff, you know? All right, here's our first switch. We're gonna go ahead and pop out and go flip this bad boy. Um, oh, it's actually already flipped. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're good. We can go past it and then we'll have to stop and then flip it again. That way on the way back, we don't have to worry about it. All right, make sure we're clear of the switch. Boop, brakes, okay. See, that's the only problem with like, once we leave, if we have a longer train, like we're gonna have to like pull the whole train forward. One. there we go okay before we can uh switch the switch all right we should be good let's hit it you know i still just don't understand like the whole like physics thing behind this like this these things just wiggle so much like they wouldn't wiggle that much like you know how heavy this thing is it wouldn't just be sitting there like slipping it side to side to side like that it, it's kind of it's a little silly it's a little silly but Hopefully, maybe they'll maybe they'll turn down the physics a little bit. Ooh, we need to fix this corner right here. This needs to get fixed because that right there would cause issues. All right, let's get this fixed up because this is <laughs> this is terrible. So let's see. Let's demolish here. Let's demolish all of this. like that perfect okay so now let's do a little bit of groundwork here variable grade we'll just take this and um, we're just basically gonna smooth this out a hair all right yeah we'll we'll bring this link it okay that looks that looks a lot better that looks a lot better much much better much a little bit smoother transition perfect so I'm going to be doing that probably on the way there quite a bit because that's what we need to do uh, to make this line a little bit better. Oh, I hate when I accidentally hit F and the break immediately gets put right back on. <laughs> All right, this corner right here. <laughs> this is the derailer right here. We got to fix this one. I'm going I'm to try to cruise around this one. Nice like that right there. A it's like a 90 degree. Oh, that's not okay. I'm, did I just derail that one? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Let's get ourselves up out of here and then uh, and then we'll fix that up. And then I think we probably need to fix this one as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pull right past all of these and then we're gonna redo this whole like turn stretch right here because this is terrible. All right, that looks pretty good. So. We are going to go ahead. I think there's a grade here, too, if I'm not mistaken. So this could get a little interesting. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Let's pull all of this track off of here. Okay, so I accidentally deleted a little something. I probably should <laughs> We're just floating on a rail with no groundwork underneath it. Oh, jeez. Uh, I also need to fix all this too. Oh my gosh. I got so much stuff to fix right now. <laughs> that was terrifying. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. This and that. Oh no. I didn't pull up far enough. Um, I don't think we can pull it up now. Okay. Let's just, we'll just leave it. We'll re-rail the, uh, we'll re-rail this guy. Okay. I got to redo this part. Okay, so I got this track, this section redone here. It looks a little bit better. Nice, uh, a little, little bit easier curve here. I don't really like this spot right here, though. I want to see if we can redo this. So this is kind of like, this is kind of how I've been doing the track, where I was trying to utilize the curves of the track with the, like, the percentage and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's almost easier to kind of, like, get your point set and then kind of just do it yourself because the uh the track kind of fixes itself a little bit as you get going and then so like look at that see that's that's a much better curve than what we had before so basically i just get the track laid out the first time and then i go back through and then try to smooth it out you know delete add more track delete add more track delete add more track until it gets uh relatively smooth i guess um i guess we can go ahead and demolish this stuff we don't need this, uh, these, these tracks here anymore. 
and then this is this is all a grade so at the very end i had like a six percent grade so this is basically all two percent grade um there is one section up here that is a three percent and that was in order to get it to where it needed to go so like this section right here looks a little looks a little tight so uh i'm gonna redo that and i'm just gonna basically just add some more little pieces in here to see if we can't get this to look a little bit better and you know what i'm actually gonna get rid of that piece too so i can give us a little bit more uh a little bit a little bit cleaner and a little bit more gradual of a there so i think that looks much better much better awesome and then this goes into here okay so that looks way way better to me to me it does um okay so i'll get rid of that and then i'd like to loop this back on to the main track um oh this doesn't look very good right here does it that doesn't look too hot but that's fine it's fine for now so that looks good i think this re-railed itself not 100 sure uh, but i'd like to have i'd like to bring a line up here and curve it back to our main track um and then eventually we're also going to need a switch down here somewhere so that way we can come over to this side of the yard to get the cord wood as well because we need to be able to get cord wood on that side and regular wood on this side so we're going to end up having to throw a switch into there to continue along to this side and then like i said i'd like to have this continue on this way back onto our main track and then have the switches go back onto each other you know actually you know what let's go ahead and do that right now let's just do it let's just make it happen let's grab our variable grade we're gonna go from here and i'm just going to i'm gonna bring this straight out this way like this now it looks like we might need to have some kind of grade on this i'm not sure yet um and then let's just kind of slowly start looping it around yeah see we are gonna have to have some kind of grade on here because this i mean unless we can squeak through i mean that's gonna be a tight turn though we could probably make this happen you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna put a one percent grade on this right now and then we will uh i'm gonna make, i'm gonna try to make this corner a little bit tighter here and i'm gonna kill that gradient and leave it about that high now where am i on the map okay so let's just bring this straight out and let's see if we can't get it to be close to my other railway my other railroad i guess oh actually are we gonna have to gradient down actually i don't know that we are because it looks like this is a whole valley right here probably could put a bridge in right there that'd actually be kind of cool you know what? let's gradient down just a little bit Oh, and I think that right there is my old line. I still have this massive mound of road behind me. <laughs> Look at how huge it is. Oh my gosh. Do I want to hit a 3%? I don't really want to hit. I don't really want to go to 3%. Let's just do this. Let's just keep going until it gets a little bit smaller and then we'll just tie it in there we go look at that okay so now now we're getting close so now we need to throw a switch in here somewhere so let's see here nice straight section let's go ahead and throw the switch in like right back here maybe and then we're gonna do a switch right like that and then let's go ahead and demolish this guy no darn it okay so there's our switch right and then this guy we need to get we need to get some uh some groundwork in here so let's go ahead and select a variable and let's just toggle onto like right here and we'll do this Ooh, that's almost perfect Oh, heck yeah. 
Um, not quite though. Hold on. There. That looks pretty good. And then we should just need track. Let's go see how this actually looks though, because I was kind of doing this all blind, so I'm hoping that there's not any really sharp turns or corners in this groundwork. I think that groundwork actually looks pretty good. So the last thing we have to do is connect it up, and then we should have our logging loop done. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be super nice. A nice easy loop for us to, to just do some logging stuff. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. Okay, so small problem. I can't take this tree because I, I guess I'm too tall. <laughs> it's too high. I mean, look how high we are off the ground. Uh, I can't get this tree removed. Okay, that tree might have to stay. Um, yeah, our groundwork is pretty It's pretty big. It's pretty tall. Uh, it looks good. Looks good. Looks like a, like a real majestic groundwork here, you know? I mean, hey, you, you'll notice the railroad. For sure, if you're ever cruising through, it's like, man, what is that up there? Oh, oh no, that one went. Some of these work and some of them don't. There we go. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're getting there. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and let's load up some logs. And then let's give our loop a try here. This is pretty exciting stuff. Will you load some logs for me? I think I'm too far forward now, but <laughs> uh, oh, it looks pretty good. It looks better than it did last time. Okay. Um. Oh, fire temperature is at zero. We're gonna have to wait for that. I should have had that going while I was loading logs. Okay. So we gotta wait for our fire temperature to get up. We have boiler pressure. Uh, water temperature. All right. We are loaded up. Okay. So we are gonna have to stop. Actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to fix this because I can see this right here. This looks awful. Uh, whilst we are going to have to stop on the way there because we're going to adjust the switches. So it would be pretty handy to have like a switch person or like a way to like remotely control switches. But I don't think that's a thing. And like I said, if we could get spring switches in the game, oh my gosh, that would be like super amazing. Because then I basically wouldn't have to adjust any switches pretty much ever unless we wanted to go somewhere else. Because the switch that we're going to go through right now, if it was a spring switch, I would never have to adjust it. Because it would automatically snap back to the way it was and we could continue around. And same with our other one. But we're going to have to stop every single time. We're going to have to stop, switch it, pull through, stop, switch it back, pull through. You know what I mean? It's going to be kind of it's gonna be kind of a pain, but it'll be it, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Um, we're getting close. Let's go and take the break off and let's start cruising. We should have enough pro uh, pressure to get, get started. And then I think by the time we need more, we'll be good. All right. Now this is all downhill. Actually, no, a little bit of this is uphill, but then it starts going downhill. So we should be okay. I'm also worried about speed. Like I really don't know how fast I should be going. <laughs> it worries me. This loop right here is pretty tight too, but it's not terrible. I think we'll be okay. Ooh, this part right here is a little tight. I think we'll be fine. I think it'll be okay. We can always adjust it later if need be. Yeah. See these three corners right here, that one, that one, and that one, I'd like to make those a little bit smoother. Oh my gosh, this track's not even remotely straight. That's what I get though. Because the the problem with when you place your track initially, if you don't clear the trees out first, you can't really see where the track's at. So like this, this will get this all fixed up over time as well. Okay, and then I think we're about, yeah, like this right here, that can be smoothed out for sure. But I think we can cut the regulator. I think we can coast. Because I'm pretty sure we are going downhill now. Yeah, we are definitely going downhill because we're, we're cruising quick. Oh, shoot. There's a tree in the middle of the thing. How did I miss that one? That would 100% derail us. Like, without a doubt. Watch, I'm not going to be able to get this one. Okay, good. Whew. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. 
We did not derail because of a tree. Take the brakes off. Yeah, see, we're, we're coasting downhill pretty good here. All right, looking good. Here's our switch. Yeah, see, our switch right here, that's a really tight turn as well. This needs to be adjusted, but yeah. Again, I couldn't see because the trees. <laughs> All right, we'll just cruise through. Oh, we can't cruise through it because I got to adjust it first. All right, let's hit the switch. Yeah, this needs, this is, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I don't even know if we're going to make it through that. Um, uh, We'll have to try. I might pull through and then I'm, I'm going to fix this right away because this is so bad. All right, we're going to cruise ever so slowly through this point. Honestly, I probably should have backed up and redid it. Okay, come on, don't derail. All right, okay. We're okay. Those back wheels just look like they're floating all over the place. All right, we are clear the switch. We're gonna go ahead and flip this and then let's redo this part. How's that look? That looks a little bit better. Uh, there's a little bit of a shimmy right here. Don't need that shimmy. How's that look? Oh, so much better. So much better. Okay, cool. So that should fix that. We shouldn't have to worry about derailing on the switch. As long as we adjust it first. And that should be good. So let's send this back. Let's make sure that everything's working. I already adjusted the switch again. So when we come back through, we should be able to cruise on through. No issues. And should be good to go. Oh, shoot. Firewood. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and just set it to, I don't know, 15%. Oh, God, this is terrible. That needs fixed, too. Jeez Louise, we got all kinds of things to fix. And here's our first switch, which is good. Hopefully, because we're going to cruise right through it at full speed. Yeah, it's good. You can see the rail right here is lined up nicely. Oh, man, this logging loop is going to be so nice. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, you know what? I said that too last time, huh? All right, let's go ahead and slow down. I want to slow down when you're going through switches because that's just that's just asking for problems. Nice and easy. And here we are delivering our second load of logs. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to sell these. I want to see how much money we have too. Because the next step is going to be to get more cars to hold more logs and sell more at a time so that way these trips actually become semi worth it because i feel like i feel like all this work for what six sixty bucks in game is is not really great all right let's go ahead and full break there we go let's go ahead and verify funds we're at 1086 let's go ahead and unload these why didn't you unload there we go and there's all six so did we only get 50 no we got 60 for that yeah awesome okay so now we have 1146 dollars in total so the next course of action would be to buy 
some flat cars. Now, flat cars are 300 a piece. Flat car tier two. Lumber, railroad, rail, beam. Lumber, rail, oh, lumber, raw iron, rail, beam. Wait, what? Log and steel pipe. One night. Oh, that's lumber. I can't get logs. Okay, so this is a log car. This is lumber, raw iron, rail, and beams. Core wood and oil barrels. Iron ore and coal. Crude oil. Okay, so we're going to want flat cars. And they're 300 a piece. We have... How much do we have? We have 1146. So we could buy like three, we could buy, yeah, we could buy three cars. So that is probably going to be the next episode. We're probably gonna buy three cars and attach them up, hook them up, get some money made and hopefully go from there. Cause let's see, three cars that'd give us four cars in total. And if each one is 60, that'd be a hundred, that'd be $240 per trip. So it's only gonna take, it's only gonna take like a half a dozen trips to pay off the cars <laughs> and get back to where we are oh my gosh it's fun it's fun but that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed this is railroads online link down below if you want to check it out i'm having a wonderful time leave a comment down below let me know what you're thinking of railroads online if you're playing it or if you're cons if you're curious or maybe you're just watching for funsies leave a comment down below i'm curious because i'm having a good time i think it's fun it is a little grindy um, and it does take a little bit of time to get stuff done, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a good time. And if you had multiple people going, like you could have somebody running, running lines, like the automation, automation is your friends. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.